Dr. Lisa, Dr. Ward, and Dr. Sears and I recently hit the streets just steps away from here on the iconic Hollywood Walk of Fame. We couldn't seem to find our star out there, but what we did find is a whole lot of questions. I'm from Perth, Australia. Oh, very cool. I'm traveling to LA, obviously. And I always find that when I travel, I get um, sick from the plane and I get a flu, like I'll always catch something. So I was just wondering what would be good tips for like in-flight health. Well, some people say your risk of getting sick on a flight is 100 times that of just daily life. I fly all the time. The number one thing I do is keep my hands clean. And when I'm flying on a plane, I, I do not allow my hands to come anywhere near my face. Okay. Uh, you touch the doorknob in the lavatory, you touch the tray table, you touch the magazine, then you touch your eyes. The person before you was sick, you're probably gonna get sick too. So be very cognizant of the hands, carry some alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Okay. And vitamins that you can take. There's no evidence that all those vitamins decrease your risk. Yep. But what you can do is get plenty of sleep and stay hydrated when you're traveling. So what you want to do is keep your immune system functioning at its optimum okay. when you travel. I'm 42 years old. I'm not premenopausal, am I? You don't know until you get your hormones checked. Because even if your periods are regular, you may get some symptoms um, that you're just on your way, but you're not there yet. Because you're not in menopause until your period stops for six months to a year. My name's Dr. Jim. How old are you? Five. And how old are you? Three. She has this cough that kind of comes on, and then it goes away, and it comes on. We've seen her pediatrician essentially just says that it could be her tonsils, it could be something else. We, uh, I don't know, any ideas? Interesting, yeah. It's a chronic cough in, in kids can be puzzling sometimes. I'm going to take a quick look at her. Sure. All right, can you open your mouth and go, ah, really big, and I'm going to look way back there. OK. Evelyn's tonsils are pretty big, and I would want to make sure they're not always that big. Hers aren't quite touching, but they're coming close. Maybe a sign of chronic allergies, possibly. So I might uh, at least think about what she might be allergic to. Is it a food? Is it mold in the house? Is it dust? and maybe kind of allergy-proof her bedroom, see an allergist and get tested. All right, give me five. Oh, yeah, give me five. Woohoo! I had a question. OK, go ahead. So I had a scar, um, a little scar. It's like brief um, from an accident from the airbag. Um, about like six years ago. Okay. Is there any cream like whitener? Yes, you know, you have olive skin. Mm -hmm. So initially, as you heal, as you have a scar that's maturing, it may turn a little bit brown. So what are the important things for you to do? Number one, cover it from the sun. Any okay. added sunlight if you have a scar is gonna make that scar worse. Okay. The only way to lighten an existing scar is using what's called hydroquinone, which is a, a deep pigmentation mm -hmm. agent. It's a lightening gel. It is a bleaching cream, but you're not gonna like put it on and oh, get a white spot. Okay. You need to use it over the course of several months. I'm 72 years old, and I'm still having hot flashes. How long am I going to have these? Wait, now, do you have any other medical problems or conditions? I'm diabetic. OK. That may be contributing to them or actually just causing a new sensation that's very similar to hot flashes from menopause. So you really need to talk to your doctor about it. Just have them run your hormones. Have them run um, your thyroid hormones as well. And there's a lot of different things to help you with those symptoms, mm -hmm. depending on you know what's actually causing it. With real menopause, they actually should get better and go away. Hi there, how are you? Doing well, how are you? I'm doing? Dr. Ord Brew. Nice to meet you. I don't break out too often, but when I do, is usually in the same areas. Um, and and then the blemish lasts a little bit longer than the actual, say, pimple. And you're not picking, right? No, 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 no. It's just, it will, like, be a slightly dark area. You know, in the old days, we used to say, oh, it's teenagers eating the wrong yeah. things. We now know that it's it really is stress-related. You know, you should have something available for you. The basic things we use for acne, salicylic acid, which is really like aspirin ground up, and benzoyl peroxide. Those are the two best things. What do they do? They're going to clean out those pores. If you have active acne, pimples, they're going to disinfect it, and they're going to help dry it up. 